In this video, uh, we're going to look at uh, a question on stationary point. Now, <clears throat> before I start, I hope you know the stationary point is when your first derivative is 0. So we can say dy by this you get when dy by dx is equal to 0. This you should be knowing. And you should also know minimum and maximum is found by your second derivative. Okay, so maximum you get when dy or d squared y by dx squared is less than zero. If it is less than zero, second derivative is less than zero, you get maximum. And if your second derivative d squared y by dx squared is greater than zero, it's minimum. Okay, now <coughs> to give you a rough, uh, to give you a, a quick explanation, if you have a maximum, say this is a maximum, okay, yeah, if you look at the uh, rate of change of change, the rate of change of change is decreasing, okay, so at maximum, the rate of change of change would be less than zero, okay. And if you take a, uh, suppose if you, if you take uh, a, suppose, say upside down parabola, if your graph is like this, the rate of change of change is constantly increasing. So the second derivative is positive. Okay, so these are the three things. So maximum is when the second derivative is less than zero. Minimum is when the second derivative is greater than zero. And stationary point when dy by dx is equal to zero. So you want to find the derivative function or uh, <coughs> gradient function of this. That means you have to find dy by dx. I've done the working, so I'll go very slowly. <coughs> so I've taken, I've used, I've used, taken the derivative operator, that is d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of 6ex <coughs> minus d by dx of e to the power 3x. Okay. So now, d by dx of y is d y by dx. This is the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. And here we have to use the chain rule. So first we have to uh, differentiate the inside function that is 3 to the power, or sorry, 3x. So the derivative of 3x is 3. And then e to the power 3x becomes e to the power 3x. Okay, so what's the next step? So we know the stationary point is when dy by dx is equal to 0. So I'll set that equal to 0. Okay, so if that's equal to 0, so I'll set this is equal to 0. Okay, <coughs> so now you can factor out. Okay, now this is a good step. Uh, now this, uh, yeah, I didn't, yeah. This, I hope you understand, is same as e to the power x to the power 3. Okay, that's why I have written like this. So, you can now factor out e to the power x or 3 e to the power x. So, you'll get <coughs> excuse me, 2 minus e to the power x squared is equal to 0. So, you end up with this, 3 e to the power x is equal to 0 or 2 minus e to the e squared, e x squared is equal to 0. Okay, now, this is, you divide both sides by 3, you get this. Now you have to use the logic. Can e to the power x become 0? Now e, you know, is, uh, oil is constant, which is 2.7 uh, something. So any number, any number which is raised to any, whether it's positive or negative, that will never become 0. It will be approaching 0. The graph of e to the power x, I hope you know, goes like this, okay, where this is e to the power, this is your e, okay, 2 point something. So this is never possible, okay, so that's what I would say, that this is not possible, this is, so we have to only get, you have to only solve this, so e to the power 2x is equal to 2, so e to the power 2x is equal to 2, so then you're taking natural log of both sides, so natural log of e to the power 2x is equal to natural log of 2. 
that will end up as uh, using the uh, uh, log rule of power, that is 2x times natural log of e to the power is equal to natural log of 2. Now, this is natural log as a base of e. So, natural log of e to the base e gives you 1. So, this becomes 2 times, if you want, you can write here 1. This becomes 1. So, x is ultimately this, that is natural log of 2 divided by 2. I'll show you on the calculator. So, so natural log of 2 divided by 2 is 0 0.3 for this huge number. Okay. Now, I'll show you this. <coughs> okay. Before showing you on a graphic calculator, let us do the second part. Now, okay, so the first part we have, so the first answer, find the x-coordinate is, this is your first answer. So, you can say this is for answer A. Now, for question B, or question 1, 3, 1, is this is answered, x is that value. And yeah, now we want to determine whether it's a maximum or minimum. So, you have to find the second derivative. I will say this is 3, 1. This is question number 3, 1. Now, as I told you, second derivative is when? Uh, so, you get maximum when the second derivative is less than 0. And minimum when you get uh, the second derivative is positive. Okay. So, I've done the, so we know the first derivative. Uh, is, mm, where is my first derivative? First derivative is 6e to the power x minus 3e to the power 3x. So I've rewritten that. And then I've done the second derivative the same way. So you have to use the chain rule here. And if you put this whole number into this, you will get a negative answer. Okay. And as it is negative, we can say it is maximum. Okay, so now you can check this on a calculator. So let us, if you have a graphic calculator, so let us go to graph, and our equation was, uh, uh, what was our equation? I forgot it. Oh, sorry. Okay, the equation was 6e to the power x minus, okay, so 3e to the power 3x. So, I go to graph. Uh, 6 e to the power x minus shift e to the power 3x. Let's see how the graph looks like. Okay, so it is looks somewhat like this. Let me so yeah, so this is the maximum. Okay, so you go g solve and this is your maximum at three point okay and the second derivative at that point is uh, negative and so we can see that's the maximum thank you see you in the next video